What is up and welcome back to Viral Ed where we create the best educational content on the planet. Don't forget to share our videos on social media, whether that be Facebook or YouTube. And most importantly, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn that notification bell on. Today we are going to look at transcription and translation, which are the process of protein synthesis in the body. This occurs in the nucleus of the cell, where the genes in the DNA contain information to make proteins. The cell makes mRNA copies of the genes in the process of transcription, which is then read at the ribosomes in the rough endoplasmic reticulum in the process of translation. Proteins are the end product of the combined process. Now that we have a simplistic version of protein synthesis, let's dive a little deeper and understand what exactly occurs in the formation of specific proteins. In this video, we are going to look at key players in the process. We're going to look at transcription by itself and translation by itself. Key players in the process are mRNA, which carry the information from a gene in DNA to the ribosome. Ribosomes are made of rDNA, uh, which consist of subunits and carry out an enzyme-like role. The last key player is tRNA, which carries specific amino acids to the ribosome. This process of protein synthesis doesn't occur if the three key players don't work simultaneously together. Now let's look at the first part of the process, transcription. RNA polymerase is the enzyme responsible for making mRNA copies of the genes. The DNA unzips at the site of the gene that is needed, uh, as you can see in the picture. The RNA polymerase travels along the DNA template strand, catalyzing the nucleotides into an RNA molecule that will carry the information encoded in the DNA. The RNA polymerase continues to move along the DNA strand until it reaches a termination signal. At this point, the RNA polymerase detaches from the DNA and releases the RNA molecule. Once the, R, uh, the mRNA molecule releases, it completely rewinds into a double helix and moves from the nucleus to the rough endoplasmic reticulum, thus completing the process of transcription. Translation is the next part to protein synthesis. Initiation begins with tRNA attaching to one of the ribosome units. MET protein is the universal start code for reading the mRNA strand the larger ribosome now binds to the smaller unit, forming a complex, as you can see in the picture. The tRNA binds to the mRNA, where the code for MET is located, and translation can now begin. MET is represented on the mRNA strand as AUG. As you can see in the picture, another tRNA now attaches to the next codon, UGG, matching it with its anticodon. ACC. The tRNA always attaches to the codon on the mRNA with an anticodon, the opposite sequence. If you are unaware of the sequences, U and G connect, while C and G connect. Each tRNA carries an amino acid which is bound together in the catalyst site in an attempt to create a peptide chain. The mRNA shifts over another codon to the right and the same thing happens. tRNA binds to its codon, UUC, with its anticodon, AAG. Another peptide bond forms between the two amino acids. The ribosome will continue this process, slowly moving down the mRNA strand until it finds a stop codon. The subunits detach and the polypeptide chain moves down the endoplasmic reticulum for further processing. So let's look at a quick summary. The mRNA strand, which is a template of the DNA sequence, is created in transcription. tRNA have anticodons that bind to the codon on the mRNA. These carry amino acids that are attached in the catalytic site, forming a polypeptide chain. The polypeptide chain moves down the endoplasmic reticulum for further processing, and that is all. So that is all for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and check out any other videos on this channel. Other than that, have an awesome day and I will see you next video.